Hello, and welcome to the Johnny Tripod Happy Hour. This is your host, Johnny Tripod, and you're listening to KTLC, the Lost Church Free Radio. You can tune in anytime to hear shows at www.thelostchurchoneword.org and click on the radio tab. This month's show, um, because I'm living in San Francisco and have for this go-around has been um, 17 and a half years, um, that I thought it was only only right and fitting uh, that I have a show with uh, songs uh, based on mentioning having in the title uh, San Francisco. So we're just going to pay homage to this amazing city by the bay uh, with a bunch of good songs. Um, Some you may know, but I bet quite a few you will not. So let's start off with one from the Arctic Monkeys from their 2006 release, Whatever People Say I Am, That's What I'm Not. This is called Fake Tales of San Francisco. Slow. 
slow decay We were both a little hungry So we went to get a hot dog Down the Hyde Street Pier Right by the 
can make a million I fought the law and I won I fought the law and I won I'm a new fight here and the key crack slam My cop friends think it's fine You can get away with murder if you got a plan I fought the law and I won I fought the law and I won I fought the law That was the Dead Kennedys with their cover of I Fought the Law from their 1987 album, Give Me Convenience or Give Me Death. Uh, they they turned that song around and based it on the uh, assassination of Harvey Milk and George Moscone by Dan White in 1978, uh, right here at City Hall in um, San Francisco. Um, but he changed up the lyrics a lot, obviously, to stuff like... Uh, the law don't mean shit if you got the right friends. That's how this country's run. Twinkies are the best friend I've ever had. I fought the law and I won. So that was uh, Jello Biafra's take on that song. Um, right before that, we had um, Grace Cathedral Hill by the Decemberists from their uh, 2002 album and first full-length album from them, um, Castaways and Cutouts. Um, yeah, just kind of a nice melancholy, uh, piece, um, Colin Malloy, I don't know, did he, I guess he was hanging out here, wrote the song, um, he had some good lines like, uh, um, uh, for a New Year's Day, I sat and watched it burn away, then turned and weaved through the slow decay, we were both a little hungry, so we went to get hot dogs down the Hyde Street Pier. So that's kind of nice. And before that, you had heard uh, the Arctic Monkeys um, with Fake Tales of San Francisco. Next up, we've got a song from ABC Mouse from their 2018 album, The Classroom is the Place to Be. This is the Golden Gate Bridge song.
Our next guests are an acclaimed rock and roll trio from Washington State. Their new CD is called The Woods. Please welcome Slater Kinney. Two 
stupid hooker She had a man named Juan Tried to keep her clean But late last night When the heroine took her Was one less siren When the sirens reached the sea Reached the sea Fog town Fog town I'm down and out on your streets I would run if I only had a place to run to Fog town Well the city's got the charms of a painted lady And survival bites like a black-headed bitch You will find yourself on the nearest street corner You wanna stay, you wanna go, you got that to run to Fog Town. you be the death of me. Be the death of me. Be the death of me. Be the death of me.
That was the song Fort Funston by the band Soar, S-O-A-R. Um, for those who don't know, Fort Funston is a, an old military um, battery um, on the cliffs uh, above uh, Ocean Beach here in San Francisco, um, or south of Ocean Beach. Um, and uh, uh, it's a great place to go. There's still uh, some battery uh, placements there and tunnels, etc., I don't think they've closed them all up. Maybe they have. Um, and then there's a bunch of hang gliders that use it as their, their launching uh, place. Um, but yeah, it's a great place to go. Um, so I was doing a little research for this show, you know, to try to find some songs I didn't know about San Francisco. And so I came across, I started throwing in some just some search terms um, like Fort Funston and up came the song. So I have no idea really who this band Soar is. I didn't get much information. Supposedly a, a super, I'll put that in quotes, super group, just made up of other um, band members from other bands. Um, anyway, it's a pretty good song. I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. It's it's good to do local. They're either from here or at least on the West Coast. Uh, but that was from their uh, 2017 album called Dark Slash Gold. Um, and before that, we had... Um, my cover, Johnny Tripod's cover, of uh, Fog Town, a song by Michelle Schacht. So I came up upon that song. Um, in 1986, uh, there was a, an album released um, by her uh, called uh, The Texas Campfire Tapes. And that was a nice acoustic album with uh, her just playing songs. Um, but it kind of became kind of a minor hit, um, uh, college rock uh, hit. Um, and so I, I got to know that. And then a few years later, I was making a tape for my mom, um, uh, a birthday tape for her, just of me playing songs. Um, and, um, I just discovered this, uh, recently in her house, um, and found out that I had, uh, recorded a, a cover of Fogtown. So I thought I'd put that on and, you know, make myself part of this <laughs> This episode, what a shock! There's some more Johnny Tripod, and um, yeah, so there you go. So you got that. And before that, what did we have before that? Oh yeah, we had that uh, live Sleater Kenny, um, a performance of Jumpers from their uh, 2005 album The Woods. Uh, that was on David Letterman. So that song um, is about. Uh, um, someone who jumped from the Golden Gate Bridge to their death. So it's kind of a, um, it's a uh, observation of, of suicide and what can drive people to that point. Um, and interesting, pretty much right around when that song was released, uh, a friend of mine had worked on a documentary on uh, people jumping from the Golden Gate Bridge, which is really kind of fascinating. Um, I think it's just called The Bridge. I think so. Anyway, it was just kind of weird timing that that sort of came out. And then this song from Slater Kenny came out as well. Um, excellent performance. You could look that up. Just look up Slater Kenny, Jumpers, David Letterman. It's good. Yeah, they just kind of uh, rip it up. It's always such a uh, an impressive uh, band, an impressive live band. Um, and of course, I put that right right after the very happy go lucky um, kids song, the Golden Gate Bridge song by ABC Mouse, uh, which I didn't know about as well. I stumbled upon that, and I guess it's uh, some uh, educational website. Um, they have a bunch of shows and learning activities and songs. I guess uh, there was some sort of lawsuit that got settled for bad advertising or whatever, but I don't know anything about that. All I know is that's a hell of a song. And so that was from <laughs> their, uh, their um, 2018 album, uh, uh, The Classroom is the Place to Be. And you know it is. So get right back in there and um, get your some learning in you, you goddamn ragamuffins. All right, let's get right back into that music with a, a, a favorite of mine. This is um, by the band Foxygen, and it is appropriately titled San Francisco.
Float with me, my private, and we'll sail around the world. I will be your fireman, and you my wayward girl. Many nights of talking in the hotel rooms, can you take? Many nights of limping round on pagan holidays. Oh, elope with me in private, and we'll set something ablaze. A trail for the devil to erase. San Francisco's calling us, the Giants and Mets will play. Piazza New York, catch your eye, you straight or are you gay? We hung about the stadium, we got no place to stay. We hung about the tenderloin and tenderly you tell about the saddest book you ever read. It always makes you cry, the statue's crying too, and will he may? You have a drowning grip on your adoring face. I love you, my responsibility has found a place. Beside you, when strong warnings in the guise of gentle words come wave upon me from the family, why the net absurd? You'll take care of her, I know it. You will do a better job, maybe, but not what she deserves. Elope with me, Miss Private, and we'll drink ourselves awake. We'll taste the coffee houses and award certificates. A privy seal to keep the feel of 1960 style. We'll comment on the decor and we'll help the passerby. And the dusk when work is over, we'll continue the debate in a borrowed bedroom, virginal and spare. Catcher hits for three eighteen and catches every day. The pitcher boots religion first and rests on holidays. He goes into cathedrals and lies prostrate on the floor. He knows the drink affects his speed. He's praying for a doorway back into the life he wants. In the confession of the bench, life outside a diamond is a wrench. Wish that you were here with me to pass the dull weekend. I know it wouldn't come to love my heroine pretend. A lady stepping from the song we love until this day. He settled for an epitaph like walk away. Rainy the sun upon the roof in winter will draw you out like a flower. Meet you at the statue in an hour. Meet you at the statue in an.
And that was Tanya by Camper Van Beethoven from their 1987 album, Our Beloved Revolutionary Sweetheart. That song, of course, about Patty Hearst and her kidnapping and um, subsequent uh, involvement in um, several bank robberies around the Bay Area, including one here in San Francisco at the, one of the Hibernia Bank branches out in the sunset. Um, kind of to refresh my memory, I did a little little reading up on her um, and in my opinion what a travesty of justice that that trial was you kidnap an heiress and you keep her in closet for six weeks and you rape her and you tell her she's either going to be killed or join your terrorist organization and then when they're caught you convict her of robbery and put her away that's just absolutely atrocious so that just kind of um, got my blood <laughs> boiling last night when I was reading about that. Um, but we did get a very good song out of it. <laughs> Camper Van Beethoven kind of pulling that one out. That's a, that's got several good songs, that album. Um, always an interesting band from Santa Cruz. Very, uh, very eclectic, um, sometimes aggravating and annoying, uh, but, uh, refreshingly good in the, in the, uh, in the 1980s when they were at their peak. And then before that, we had uh, from a San Francisco band called Great Apes. Um, we had a song called Whitney's Playland at the Beach from uh, their 2021 album of the same name. Um, for those who may not know, there used to be an amusement park um, with you know roller coaster rides and all kinds of crazy fun stuff right there at Ocean Beach on the edge of San Francisco, um, all the way till who. 19, right right around 1970, the late 60s, 68, 69. It's hard to imagine now. Of course, it's just a bunch of condos. But not that it's not, hard to imagine not that it's not there, but that we used to have a big old fun amusement park right there. It's like, oh my God, you could take just the light rail out there, a train out there, a bus, and we could just, you know, enjoy ourselves there with terrible corn dogs. It's true, but it almost seems like it. That couldn't possibly have existed, but it did for decades and decades. Um, my uh, folks, my parents who met here in San Francisco and got married, um, uh, they they said they occasionally went out there because it was kind of getting pretty run down. <laughs> but uh, I like the idea of uh, such a place existing. It sounds actually like it would be really fun, but it would be cold. So maybe, maybe I wouldn't go as much as I thought. And before that, we had the song um, Piazza, New York Catcher from Bell and Sebastian. And that was from their 2003 release, Dear Catastrophe Waitress. So I heard that was about um, the singer's, uh, what's that guy's name, Murdoch? Um, uh, uh, When he was uh, meeting and trying to woo his future wife here in San Francisco. Um, I kind of wanted to read... um, one of the verses, which was a uh, um, San Francisco's calling us, the Giants and Mets will play, Piazza, New York catcher, are you straight or are you gay? We hung about the stadium, we've got no place to stay. We hung about the tenderloin and tenderly you tell about the saddest book you ever read. It always makes you cry. The statue's crying too, and well he may. And so, of course, that's a, that's a, uh, a take um, um, on Willie, um, Willie Mays, um, the statue being right there at the uh, corner of the uh, Giants ballpark um, uh, downtown. Um, so I thought that was some that was some good clever songwriting there. It's very catchy. Um, the 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 rhythm of the of of the melody. It uh, it's very sing songy and tells a story for sure. Um, I kind of had forgotten about that. I don't follow Bill and Sebastian as much as I used to. And I, um, I couldn't actually recall that song. And then when I, as soon as I uh, heard it, I was like, oh, that song, <laughs> that song that has a bit of San Francisco in it. So I thought I'd bring that up for everybody. And then uh, opening the set uh, was a Foxygen with their song San Francisco from their 2013 release. We are the 21st century ambassadors of peace and magic. Um, yeah, a nice little bit of psych- psychedelia in there. Uh, they have very good production. Um, they do a nice little trick in that song. Um, 
uh, in the latter part of the song at the end of one of the uh, verses, because the choruses are just instrumental, um, where the, the vocals continue on, but beneath it, the, the music, the drums, um, uh, the guitars, the keyboards, it slowly fades away to nothing right, right before the chorus. And then when everything comes in together, all of a sudden it seems much louder. So that's a nice little recording trick that I might have to, might have to use in the future. We've got time for just a couple more. Uh, the next one's going to be from, um, uh, local San Francisco band, uh, American Music Club, um, from their 2004 release, The Golden Age. Um, the song is called All the Lost Souls Welcome You to San Francisco. Years ago, my soul went missing, looking for a life. was wrong is of another day I've been terribly alone and forgotten in Manhattan I'm going home to my city by the bay I left my San Francisco High on a hill It calls to me To be Where little cable cars I'm halfway to the stars 
the morning fog may chill the air my love waits there in San Francisco Above a blue And when they see golden sun will shine for me and that was of course I left my heart in San Francisco the quintessential San Francisco song uh, this one was by uh, Puddle's Pity Party from the 2020 album Unhappy Hour at the Loser's Lounge. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Johnny Tripod. This is the Johnny Tripod Happy Hour. Uh, join me every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific Time. Um, first Wednesday of the month, a new episode. Uh, you've been listening to KTLC, the Lost Church Free Radio. Everyone be safe out there.